good menu and they looked well staffed. I'm a li limeade sounds good. That's, that's a very solid operation right there. Yeah, I mean something different, right? Pressed all around. All right, let's talk weather. Ray, the limeade, lemonade, any other kind of beverage business is going to be strong for days. Oh, it's going to be booming here the next few, especially with the heat and humidity that we have. And the rain chances over the next uh, couple of days, we're talking tomorrow and Wednesday, are going to be very limited. We had some spotty little pop-ups develop, and we have this thunderstorm that's crossing from Somerset County down into Garrett County, Maryland. That's right on 68. This one's moving out of Morgantown, so it's going to dry up there in your temperatures in Morgantown. They dropped into the 70s briefly because of the rain-cooled air. Those are going to bounce back. Little bit of activity still firing up along that Westmoreland Indiana County line. So that's a continued thing there. These are all going to start to shift out of here over the next couple of hours, and we are going to see clearer skies take over tonight. Partly cloudy skies in Pittsburgh right now, Washington 86, both locations, sunshine in 84 up in Newcastle, Dubois at 84 degrees, Greensburg with sunshine in 82. You go to Morgantown at 78 with that rain still trying to clear the area there. We're breaking up the clouds here in town, so a little bit of blue showing up there as we look across the Allegheny towards downtown. 86 degrees in Pittsburgh. Still feels like 90, though, because of those high dew points that are in the upper 60s right now. Temperatures tonight go down to the low to mid 60s in most cases. That stickiness will stay in the air, so it's going to be one of those steamy nights. And with our temperatures going down to this point, we're going to see some patchy areas of fog trying to settle in before tomorrow morning morning and that's a sign that we're in for another humid day tomorrow as our temperatures make a run for the upper 80s even some spots trying to touch that 90 degree mark officially today we hit 88 degrees in Pittsburgh so these little uh, pop-ups have developed they're still shifting out of here but you can see anything uh, that's uh, coming from upstream or from where the weather's coming is finished up and these are just going to continue to exit the region so Pittsburgh's looking pretty dry from this point on and then tomorrow we get those clear skies over again. So tonight, after uh, we get through the night, we clear it out early tomorrow morning. Patchy fog, that'll clear out of here as well. And tomorrow, sunshine, a couple clouds mixed in there. Great looking day, but a hot feeling day and a very humid day. Once we get to Wednesday, this is where we could see a little afternoon pop up trying to develop. Nothing too widespread. I think the better shot for rain and thunderstorms is Thursday into Friday as a front slowly crosses the region. 66 tonight. Our skies are going to turn mainly clear here over the next few hours. Then we'll see some of that fog trying to settle in and any leftover shower or thunderstorm will be finished up tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, very warm, very humid. You're looking at light winds, so that's not even going to mix up the air too much for you. So it's going to be a very steamy 89 degrees. Next seven. These temperatures go from the upper 80s tomorrow to 90 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday. And keep in mind, today we got up to 88, but with the humidity at times it felt like 94 degrees. That's what we're looking at for the rest of this forecast here. Hot conditions, hot temperatures, and humidity making it feel even hotter. Friday, 88 degrees, some scattered storms still in the upper 80s for the weekend. And Monday, you're looking at some scattered thunderstorms and temperatures cooling off to 85 degrees. But normal is 81 for this time of year, and each and every day is well above that. And with the heat and humidity and showers and storms and school starting and everything else, make sure you have the KDKA weather app. It gives you an interactive radar, current conditions, and if there's any weather nearby, it lets you know about heavy rain or lightning or even severe weather alerts all for free. Search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.